Hello and welcome to another ADAS calibration video. Today we're working on a 2022 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid and we'll be calibrating the BSD or blind spot detection radar sensors located here at the rear of the vehicle. We will be focused on the passenger side of the vehicle, also referred to as the slave side. We'll also be having this video condensed a bit. Um, normally we would be showing you the steps of using the plumb bob to determine the center point, but we're gonna go ahead and have that already prepared just to shorten the video a bit. Uh, we'll be using our new ADAS 3-in-1 radar calibration frame along with our iSmartLink 801 display tablet. So let's go ahead and get started by plugging in the VCI into the vehicle's OBD2 port. So with the VCI already plugged into the vehicle's OBD2 port, I'm gonna go ahead and click on ADAS calibration. We need to select the make, so we'll choose Toyota. There's two options there, Toyota, Toyota, EV. This is not the EV, so this is just regular Toyota. Okay, this does have the smart key option, so I'll select smart key. Okay, we'll go ahead and select on ADAS system scan. Now this is our demo vehicle, so we don't have any DTCs currently, but we'll move forward as if we do. And we'll be focused here on the blind spot monitor or BSD detection here. So we'll click on report, we'll run our pre-repair. No faults, we'll save that report. We'll next click on the ADAS calibration function we're going to choose BSD radar calibration. And again, for our demonstration purposes, we're focused on the passenger side or what's known as the slave side. So we'll go ahead and click on slave beam uh, adjustment recommended. Okay, and we'll be using again our ADAS radar three in one product. So we'll select that. And again, as I mentioned earlier, we've already plumbed the vehicle, uh, finding the uh, points A and B, which is gonna be our center line here. So we'll move on to the next step here. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you though that we're gonna position our five line laser. I'll go ahead and fire that on. We'll use our auxiliary mirror here to confirm that we see the reflector lamp up. So we've got our vertical line there. I'm gonna hit my V button here so we can get our extended line. So the first thing we need to do is mark two points. Uh, the first one is to mark uh, at a distance of 500 millimeters from the center of the laser. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So this is our first point here at 500. And then we're gonna do our next one at 67.55 inches or 1714 millimeters. So you can see that we've got that marked here already. And again, looking at the laser, we'll get our center and we'll place this target pad down. Now you might ask, why are we doing that? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be moving that five line laser to this position because we're gonna need the cross portion of the laser to position our target. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. So here tells us to go ahead and move our five line laser to this position here. With our other pads laid down there, it helps us to line up our target, or I'm sorry, our laser to make it square. But we could always use our auxiliary mirror again and look at our target uh, reflector that's on the front of the vehicle to get that straight line. So now we know that this is still um, centered. And then now we have our position line for our target. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the V on the laser here and that's gonna give us our line this way. So next we're gonna take a measurement going this way. Um, you would do the same if we were doing the driver or master side, but again, we're focused just showing you the passenger side or slave side. So we'll move on to our next step. 
Okay, so the next step is to measure from, this is point C, and we're gonna measure it to C1 over there at 91.96 inches or 2334 millimeters. So basically about 92 inches. So we'll come over here, take our tape measure. And we have our target here. We'll make sure we're lined up at 90, basically 92 inches and place that target there. So this is gonna be where our target's going to land. We'll now position the target over the cross pad. And we'll grab my tablet here, grab on the next step here, and then we're going to set the height of the target here. So first, we're gonna make sure our cone is sit, sitting level. We have bubble indicators here. We look good with that. We'll move on to the next step. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and adjust it by turning on this laser. We'll get a little dot on the vehicle and we're gonna point it to the radar sensor, which is roughly about, roughly about there. So we'll go ahead and adjust the height a little bit. And we'll lock it down. So with that, we're ready to calibrate. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand back from the radar sensor and we'll calibrate. So pressing the calibration button. Okay, it's making the adjustment and I got a success complete. So we'll go ahead and generate our ADAS report And before we create our post repair, we'll go ahead and run another scan. Okay, no DTCs, so we'll go ahead and generate our post repair report. We'll change our report type to post repair. We're gonna add in our pre-repair as well as our diagnostic scan. Hit okay, okay. And now we have our post-repair report showing we have a successful static calibration of the blind spot monitor radar. So we'll save that and then we'll go ahead and exit out. So this completes the calibration of the blind spot detection passenger side Again, you would repeat the same uh, function for the driver's side um, if you're gonna perform it on that particular uh, radar. And so we hope you found the video helpful and we'll see you at the next one. Bye for now.